love and pray and ask the Lord to search your heart and search your soul. That anything you have done, let the Lord forgive you. Let the Lord deliver you from worldly behavior and worldly appetite. John chapter 9 verse 31. The, the Bible said the prayer of a sinner God does not hear. We also read Matthew chapter 6 verse 14. That if you don't forgive your fellow men, God will not forgive you. But if you forgive your fellow men, God will forgive you. So open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord to search your own heart. David also said in Psalm 24. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? He that has a pure heart and a clean hands. Right, beloved? Yes. And the pure in heart shall see God. I want you to raise your voice and ask the Lord to please forgive you of all your sins. Laziness is a sin. Laziness, unforgiveness, gossiping, backbiting, murmuring, complaining, disobedient. Ask the Lord to please forgive you. Any way you have offended God, in any way of your behavior and, and your attitude, that you have offended God. You have offended your fellow brothers and sisters. You may have offended your own self by the lazy behavior you do. Ask the Lord to search your heart. Any any part of your lifestyle and your attitude, your behavior that is offensive to God. Repent and ask the Lord to forgive you and cleanse you and let the Lord begin to give you a pure heart and renew a right spirit within you. Whatever has put up a, a welcome, beloved, Whatever has put a wedge between you and God. I want you to open your mouth and repent of your sins. Because many times the problems, the reason why many times as Christians our prayers don't get answered. It's not always the devil. Sometimes we are our own devil. What does that mean? You hold on to anger and unforgiveness and pride and bitterness and resentment and jealousy and haughty spirit. So I want you to raise your voice in the name of Jesus. And ask the Lord to please forgive you of all your sins. Whoever put that, I didn't read that, but I'm not going to read that. We're praying something different. You have to wait to the right time. Don't distract me, honestly. I want you to raise your voice and pray. If you can wait to the end, you can give your request. We can pray. But we have a little order going on here. So there must always be order in the things of God. I don't mind praying, but you have to give me a request at the right time. If you stay with us, fine. If you can't wait, shoot me an email. We'll pray for you. That's it. But I want you to raise your voice, beloved, and ask the Lord to please search my heart. Am I walking in disobedience? Do, am I harboring anger and bitterness and pride and unforgiveness and jealousy and haughty spirit? All of those things can hinder your blessings. All of those behavior can stop God from hearing your prayers. All of those things can stop and prevent God from blessing you or delivering you in any way. So open your mouth. He said, we just read the scripture of Matthew chapter 6 verse 40. And we just read John 9 31. God said a prayer for sinner he doesn't hear. So many of you have been praying for years and for weeks and for months and for days. Maybe why God hasn't answered your prayer because you're a sinner. You're working in sin, disobedience, laziness, gossiping, backbiting, murmuring, complaining, prideful spirit, haughty spirit. you jealous. You have a competitive spirit or a religious spirit or a critical and a judgmental spirit. You find nothing positive. Everything that somebody does, you find something negative. I'm like that sometimes and I have to repent. So I want you to raise your voice wherever you are and ask the Lord to forgive you. Go ahead and pray. I'm going to go, go ahead and pray, okay? Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you and I ask you to search my own heart and search my soul and search my spirit. Any part of my life that is a stench to your nose, I invite the Holy Spirit to wage war on every part of my nature and my behavior. That part of my nature that contends with righteousness, every part of my behavior that is a stench to your nose, I repent and I say, God, forgive me and have mercy for me. And I say, Lord, I plead your blood over my sins. I plead your blood over the transgression of my life. My behavior the words of my lips what does the bible say let the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in your sight sometimes you, the, the desires in your heart and the words in your lips is not acceptable in his sight so he won't answer you when you cry so cry out to the lord if you have to kneel down kneel down if you have to lay prostrate on the ground with your face to the ground if you have to weep whatever you have to do but the bible said to rend your heart and not your garment so i want you to pray from your heart not from your lips if you pray from your lips god won't hear you i want you to i want your heart to be pain i want you to pray this prayer from your heart if you pray this prayer from your heart you may not have to ask god for anything because sometimes this can be the blockage and the hindrance to our, our answers prayer so raise your voice and ask the lord to search your heart 
Invite Holy Spirit to wage war on every part of your nature that is ungodly, that is unholy, that is unrighteous. What part of your personality that contends with righteousness? Invite the Lord to deal with it. The Bible called them little foxes and uh, the Amalekites and the Jebusite. I call them all the ice and the kites. All of those little issues, it may be standing between you and God. What has put a wedge between you and your God? What has deafened your ears? What have caused your life and your personality that it is so repulsive to your God that he no longer hears your prayers, that your, your sin and your lifestyle has has caused your father God's ears to be deafening to your cry. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Raise your voice and cry out, beloved. If you're praying on Facebook and Periscope, you let me know. You tap the screen, you send those hearts. On Facebook and Periscope. But let me know that you are praying. Cry out to the Lord. Lord, forgive me. Search my heart. I surrender my behavior and my attitude and my mindset. I surrender to you. Oh, God, forgive me. Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins. I ask forgiveness and I plead your blood over my sins. I say, Lord, forgive me. But well, we have all sinned. Ask the Lord to forgive you and cleanse you. Before going to warfare, you have to always Ask the Lord to purge you and cleanse you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray and cry, Lord, search my heart. Lord, search my soul. Lord, search my lifestyle. Even the behavior and the attitude that you do in secret. No one knows, but God knows. How are you living in secret? Ask the Lord to begin to expose your secret life to even yourself. Ask the Lord to shine his light into the darkest region of your heart. That any form of darkness you are harboring, are you lusting? Are you angry? Are you jealous over anyone or anything ask the lord to forgive you and cleanse you and deliver you from every attitude and behavior that is ungodly that is unholy that is unrighteous that has put a wedge between you and your god you want healing you want deliverance you want sanctification you want to be set free today so ask the lord to please deliver you and to cleanse you from the attitudes and the mindset that is a stench to his nose what part of your lifestyle have put a wedge between you and god you want deliverance you want healing david said who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? He that has a pure heart and a clean hands. Let the Lord create in you this moment a clean heart. Ask the Lord to renew a right spirit within you. Raise your voice, beloved, and pray. I want you to raise your voice and ask the Lord. Oh God, create in me a pure heart. Oh God, renew a right spirit within me. Oh God, refine my thoughts and my behavior. Oh God, empty me of myself that you can pour yourself into me. Oh Lord, cleanse me and purge me and refine me. Create in me a pure heart. Renew a right spirit within me. I need you to raise your voice and I need you to cry out, beloved. We have not come to play. We have come to wage war on hell. You must be delivered today from whatever your behavior and your attitude to you want it gone you want to raise your voice and ask the lord father empty me of myself my selfish ways my selfish behavior my carnal behavior my lustful and prideful and arrogant spirit cleanse me refine me empty me of myself every part of my human nature that is ungodly i need deliverance this moment oh god heal me and deliver me and cleanse me i plead your blood jesus over my sins forgive me of all my sins sanctify me and wash me in the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus creating me a pure heart creating me a pure heart whoever put that text i need you to don't text i need you to pray it's not time to text. I won't have time to read your text. I will be praying off and on. My eyes won't be open all the time. So I need you to listen and you open your mouth and pray. Uh, welcome, Jane. But I want you to open your mouth and pray those prayers. Don't just say amen. You cry out to God for yourself. Ask the Lord to create in you a pure heart. Ask the Lord to renew a right spirit within you. Ask the Lord to give you pure heart and pure motive and pure desire and pure intention towards all mankind. You don't want to have anything in your heart towards anyone because that can be the greatest blockage and the hindrance to your prayers. You will all know that. God said a prayer of a sinner he does not hear. John 9, 31. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. He talked about forgiveness and repentance. We're going to ask the Lord to forgive us. So I want you to open your own mouth and you cry out to God. Ask the Lord to search your heart. What is it part of your lifestyle that has put a wedge between you and God? I'm on Facebook and Periscope. So if you see me looking back and forth, that's, that's why, okay? But I want you to raise your voice, beloved, and cry and ask the Lord to search your heart. I'm going to pray for myself. You pray for yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent. 
laziness, gossiping, backbiting, murmuring, jealous spirit, prideful spirit, arrogance, this self-righteous attitude that I think I know it all, or this critical and religious and judgmental spirit. I repent and I surrender all my behavior to you. And I invite the Holy Ghost to wage war on every part of my behavior, my nature, and my personality that contends with righteousness. I invite you, Lord, to wage war and begin to deal with my very nature until my spirit man has been subjected and subdued to the spirit of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Raise your voice and pray like that, beloved. I want you to pray. Remember, we're supposed to be praying the Holy Ghost. Remember? So those my warriors in training, I want you to pray this in understanding. But mostly, we're going to pray in the spirit. For the next, for the remainder of the time, uh, to 10 or 11 o'clock. But you pray in the Holy Ghost. I hope you are praying. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, my warriors in training on Periscope, just say yes to let me know that since we started, you have, you have been praying this prayer in, in the spirit. Our goal is to pray in tongues for three hours every day for 40 days. So all your spiritual senses can be activated and sharpened. So if you have been praying in the spirit, just say yes. Thank you. I want to see that. Let me see what time is it. Okay, we still have time. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you for cleansing and refining and purging. Lord, cleanse my heart. Search me. Purify me. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you, Lord, to pray those prayers in the Spirit. Oh, Father, begin to strip me of every filthy garment as you did with Joshua the high priest. May you strip me of every filthy garment, the loss of the eyes and the loss of the flesh and the pride of life, I give you permission to begin to wage war on every part of my nature and my characteristics, my personality, my attributes, any kind of way where life starts within me. I invite you, Holy Spirit, to wage war, begin to deal with my very nature. That when you're done with me, Lord, I begin to look like you, sound like you, smell like you, think like you, behave like you. I begin to manifest God in the flesh. Wage what on my nature, oh God, I want to manifest you. Speak to me and speak through me. Begin to cleanse me and refine me and purge me and deliver me, oh God. I want you to raise your voice, beloved. Open your mouth and pray. And if you pray, you just let me know that you're praying. You know how to do it now. Mushan liba kora ba ya katariba o sende o yo sonde lo yo kosera ba ba ya katariba o kosoto fara give you my heart and I ask you O oh Lord to give me a pure heart renew a right spirit within me create me a pure heart give me a pure heart begin to empty my strip my heart of every wickedness remove every wickedness and anger and bitterness and jealousy and pride remove every wickedness from within my heart remove every loss from within my life remove any kind of way what lifestyle creating me a pure heart i want you to give me pure motives and pure desire pure intention towards all men in the name of jesus Oh, saliba bolo yo ko sande ya la makanda ya ribi ya kalaba koro bo kondo ye kikari ba o senda rama ya ye sati ba o ko soto purge my heart. Purge my heart, purge my spirit, cleanse me and refine me in Jesus' name. Are you praying on Periscope? Please somebody let me know that you're praying, beloved, that you're not, the thing is not frozen. So I don't have to reboot my phone. Yes, let me know that you're praying. And you pray in the spirit, pray in the understanding, pray in the Holy Ghost. Father, empty me of myself. Give me a pure heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Cleanse me and purge me and deliver me. Refine me. Make me a vessel pure and holy for the master's meat. Refine me, O oh God. Empty me of myself. Remove every wickedness and wayward and jealous and prideful and haughty spirit, O oh God. I want you to give me a pure heart, pure motives and pure desires towards all mankind. I repent of all my behavior, my wayward attitude cleanse me purify me sanctify me make me a vessel of honor an instrument for your glory and a weapon in your hand oh god that you can use to demonstrate and display your incomparable great power to the whole world
Refine me, O oh Lord. Cleanse me. Give me a pure heart. I invite you, O oh Lord, to shine your light into the darkest region of my heart. Expose every darkness to me and get it out. Strip me of every filthy garment in Jesus' name. Oh, sorry, but Korobo Yoko Sande Yarababaya Kiara Kasonta, my yes, Sandy Maorobo Yoko City. Yari Mamaya Kono Moyo Sita Riba Oro Kono Maye Serabai Sita. O Yari Bakona Maye Sati Yariba Korobo Yo City. O Yo Sita Riba Kona Maye Rakanda Yari Sita Libi Alaba Boro Yoko Soto. E ye yi siti ya raba mora mama ya kanda ya riki ya riba bo konomo ye sete. This is the hour and the time, oh Lord, for you to cleanse me, for you to renew me, for you to refresh me, for you to refine me. Beloved, raise your voice. If you are praying, let me know. You tap the screen so I don't, so I don't think my phone is frozen. Otherwise, I may have to reboot my phone. Are you guys there? Please, somebody let me know that you are praying. Yes, let me know that you are praying. Please, beloved. O shari ba kona na ba ye sari ba koro bo yo soto ye seri ba ba ya kanda bariki ya raba kono mo yo soto ye siti ya raba kona na ma ye kariba o soto ye sara ba ba ya koro bo ye kesendi fara gave myself to you as a vessel and I ask you to begin to strip me of every filthiness strip me of every filthy garment empty me of myself in Jesus name empty me of myself in the name of Jesus empty me of every Way what behavior and attitude in the name of Jesus. Begin to strip away every filthy garment. Give me a pure heart, clean hands, clear conscience, and pure motive towards all mankind. Give me a pure heart. Renew a right spirit within me, O oh God. Purify my heart. Purify my motives, my desires, and my intention, O oh God. Deliver me even from myself. Deliver me from my own behavior. Get me out of my own way. Get me out of your way so that you can use me, O oh God. But I measure what I limit, empty me of myself. Purify this vessel, O oh God, that you can pour yourself into me in Jesus' name. Raise your voice. Pray in the spirit, beloved. You can pray in understanding for a little bit, but most of the time, pray in, and pray in the spirit. O shari ba konuro bo yo se tara ba ya katari ba o soto. Iyari ba kora ba ye kasiti ya raba boro yo kosondo. Ye se rebebe ye kende be ribi ya laba boro yo kosande ma ribi ya laba kora ba ye se ta. O sari ba moro yo kono mo ye re ke se ribi ya oro kosoro ba ye ke sandi ma riba oro yo kosondo. Yari makona ma ye kariki yara ma ono mo ye kene ye ke senti ma o sita riba o kono mo ye sete. I yield myself to you. I yield the members of my body to you as the Lord cleans me. I yield the members of my body to you as the Lord cleans me. Lord, purge me, purify me, make me a vessel pure and holy for the master's need. I repent of every wayward attitude and behavior, every laziness and disobedience, any behavior and attitude manifested in and through me that is ungodly. I repent, I ask forgiveness as the Lord deal with the issues of my heart. That my heart will become a heart so pure, just like the heart of the Father. That as you love the whole world, I will begin to love the world like you. I will begin to even see the world through your eyes. Help me to love you as your holy angels love you. Help me to love thee as the holy angels love thee. Help me to be a lover after you, O oh God. Help me to be zealous and hungry for you. That I want to live a life so holy, pleasing unto you. That nothing in this world brings me pleasure than to bring you pleasure in Jesus' name. O shari ba kona ma ye sari ba kono bo yo ke sati ba ri ba kona ma ye seta. O yoro bo ke sete be ri bi ala ba boro ko sande ra ri ki ya ra ba boro yo ko sondo. Ma siti ya ra ba kora ba ye la kanda ra ba ri bi ala ba o soto. Ye sari ba kora bo ko ne ye iki kari ba oro kondo bo ye ke sete. Ya siti ya ra ba o na ma ye kari ba o ko soto. Para kweli na se pio hat. Creating us, O oh Lord, a pure heart. Renew our right spirit within us, O oh God. Creating us a pure heart. Renew our right spirit and refine us and purge us, O oh God. Deliver me from every wayward behavior and attitude, O oh God. Every judgmental and critical and self-righteous and religious spirit. Deliver me, O oh God, from every self-righteous and religious spirit. Pray in the spirit, beloved. Pray in the Holy Ghost. We are praying Luke chapter, excuse me, Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. 
And we're also praying John 9, 31. So I want you to raise your voice and ask the Lord to cleanse you, to purge you, to purify you, to sanctify you. Before God can use that vessel as a weapon in his hand, before God can pour himself into you, there's some things he have to empty up out of you. Now you open your mouth and ask the Lord to strip you of every filthy garment, to deliver you from any kind of wayward behavior and attitude, self-righteous mindset. Ask the Lord to begin to empty you and strip you of every behavior, every characteristic any part of your behavior that is a stench to his nose. Open your mouth and ask the Lord to begin to empty you of yourself. Ask the Lord to even deliver you from yourself. Ask the Lord to even get you out of your own way. Pray understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Raise your voice and pray, beloved. Father, I surrender my behavior and my attitude. And I say, Lord, may you begin to wage war on every part of my human nature that is a stench to your nose in Jesus' name. Empty me, O God, of myself. Get me out of my own way. Get me out of your way. That stubborn and strong way personality and, and stubborn and bow-headed personality, I ask you to break it, Lord. Break it in the name of Jesus. Begin to bring my spirit man in subjection to the spirit of God. Let my nature and my spirit begin to be subdued to the spirit of the most high God. Raise your voice and pray. And if you're praying, let me know that you're praying, but open your mouth and pray, beloved. I want you to raise your voice and cry out. Ask the Lord to begin to wage war on every part of your nature that is ungodly. You want to be cleansed. Before we ask for, for the before the Lord can activate and stir up and unleash those gifts of the Spirit, there's some things in you he gotta get out. Because if the Lord begins to turn on those gifts and you and you have flaws with your character and character flaws, and you have character issue, you will use the gift in an ungodly way. You may use the gift for evil purposes. Because your heart is not clean. Your heart is not pure. So before we ask for God to unleash and activate any gift in us, we got to search our heart. Because if you don't have a pure heart, you don't have a pure motive, and you don't have a pure desire, and you're filthy, you will use those gifts for evil purposes, and it defeat the purpose. So I want you to raise your voice before we can ask God for gift. Let's ask God to deal with our heart. All your character flaws. Lay it before the feet of the cross and ask the master to begin to deal with your character flaws. Ask him. Every part of your character flaws, your issue, your behavior, that is way war, that has put a wedge between you and your God. Ask him today to deal with your character flaws. Father, deal with every flaws of my character. Every part of my nature and my character resting that is ungodly. Deal with that nature until it is conformed into your very nature. Until I begin to take on your attributes in the name of Jesus. Until the world begins to to see you in me, deal with me, O oh God. Remove every filthy garments. Pray in the Holy Ghost and pray in understanding, beloved. Father, I yield myself to you as a vessel that you may begin to work in me and work through me. Father, I surrender this vessel unto you as a Lord, begin to work in me and work through me. Begin to strip me of every filthiness. Begin to take your chisel and chip away the excess all the excess emotional baggage. Deliver me and strip me of every excess emotional baggage. I want you to raise your voice, beloved, and I want you to ask the Lord to deliver you and remove every emotional baggage, every wounds of your past. Let the Lord begin to cleanse you and refine you and purge you, that you become a vessel of honor, an instrument for his glory and a weapon in his hand that God can use to demonstrate his power to the world. Raise your voice, somebody, and pray. Pray. pray in understanding, pray in the spirit, and let me know that you are praying. Raise your voice and pray, beloved. Oshari ba koro bo ye ke sande yari ba boro go kusende. Yari ba koro bo yoko sande me yisi taribi alaba boro yoko soto. Yera ba ba ya kandari ba kona ma yesi yara ba koro bo yesete. Yo siti yara ba kona na ma yera kadari ya kusoto. I want you to raise your voice, beloved, and ask the Lord to deal with every part of your nature and your personality that is ungodly, any wayward behavior. 
unrighteous thoughts, unrighteous behavior, unrighteous attitude? Are you struggling with the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life and the spirit of arrogance and pride and gossiping and backbiting and murmuring and complaining and even pity party and victim mentality and low self-esteem? What are your issues? Even sometimes you have lack of faith and lack of trust in God. That's also a sin, beloved. Repent right now. Because the Bible said, if, 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 um, John chapter 9, verse 31, God said a prayer of a sinner he does not hear. Maybe that's the reason you have prayed certain prayer for years, because that's why God has not heard you. Because you are a sinner. So repent right now. Turn from your wicked ways. Repent. The Lord will hear your cry. I want you to cry from your heart, not from your lips. The Bible said to rend your heart, not your garment. Don't impress me with your plenty words. But open your heart and cry and say, Lord, search my heart. David said, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? He that has a pure heart and a clean hands. Who shall see the Lord? The pure in heart shall see God. How come you haven't seen God? Is your heart pure? How pure is your heart? How clean is your hands? How clear is your conscience? Raise your voice. Ask the Lord. If you're not sure, no problem. Ask the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus begin to cleanse you and purge you. Ask the Lord, plead the blood of Jesus over your mind, over your desires, over your motives, over your attitude, over your behavior, your personalities, your characteristics, your attributes, your very nature that is ungodly, your nature that is unrighteous. Plead the blood of Jesus and ask you to please deliver you and break every hold of a sinful lifestyle. Open your mouth and pray. If you are praying, let me know. Uh, YouTube and per uh, Periscope and Facebook. I need you to raise your voice and cry out. We have come not to just ask for gift. God cannot give you gift. Sometimes God cannot even bless you. Because the blessing may become a curse upon your life if your lifestyle right now is wayward. If, your life, if you are living in sin right now, what makes you think God will bless you? Because if God blesses you now, that means he's condoning your sinful lifestyle. So if he will bless you, why shouldn't he bless the homosexual? If God will bless you, why shouldn't he bless the witches? You are both living in sin. Why should he bless one or the other? Should God change his laws to please you? Open your mouth and pray there. God is not looking for a perfect vessel, but he's looking for a yielded vessel. Now yield yourself to the Lord and ask you to deal with you. Ask the Lord to deal with your personality. Father, I surrender myself to you. For I am not perfect either. And I ask you, Lord, begin to deal with my nature. I'm asking you, Lord, to deal with every part of my nature and my characteristics and my personality that is ungodly, that is unrighteous, that is unholy. I ask you, oh Lord, to begin to deal with it in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins. I say, Lord, cleanse me. Sanctify these lips of clay. You did to prophet Isaiah. You strip him of those filthy garments. May you strip me of every filthy garment in my life in Jesus' name. Any part of my lifestyle that you don't like, I invite you, Holy Ghost, to wage war on every part of my lifestyle that you do not like in Jesus' name and conform my life into the very nature of Christ that I begin to manifest God in the flesh in the name of Jesus. Somebody raise their voice and pray. I need you to raise your voice. Don't just say, yes, amen, I agree. No. You speak to God. You will decree a thing, God will establish. So I'm speaking for myself. I want you to pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Okay, we are done with that. I want to go to the next section of prayers. Now we're going to pray. The next prayer we're going to pray using the same scriptures. Matthew chapter 6 verse 14. And John chapter 9 verse 31. In the name of Jesus. If you're there, let me know. Say amen. Facebook and Periscope, welcome. Now we're going to pray. What are we going to pray? We're going to ask for the forgiveness of everyone who have ever hurt us. Okay, beloved? Amen. Thank you, Facebook, uh, Periscope. Uh, we now we're going to pray after you, after you have prayed forgiveness for yourself. If you feel a release in your heart, you can stop. If you don't feel a release and you still need to continue, fine. Now we're going to pray. What are we going to pray? We're going to ask the Lord to forgive everyone who have ever hurt us. Oh, yes. You have to pray those If you don't pray that God cannot hear your prayer. You can go to all the praying father and praying mother. You can go to Apostle Bishop Pope John Paul II. God is not going to change his laws because of you. No. You're going to open your mouth and pray. And you, uh, we got John 1, uh, John chapter 1 verse 9, Isaiah 43 verse 25. Those are the scriptures we're praying for those of you who need to know. And we're going to ask the Lord to please forgive everyone who have ever heard us. I think I'll go and read two of those scriptures first. 
Let me go and turn to uh, John chapter 1, verse 9. Give me one second, okay? I will turn to that real quick. and we'll, I will read that, and then we'll pray. I'm going to read John, what is this here? John chapter 1, verse 9. Not 39, excuse me. John chapter 1, verse 9. Where is it? Okay, John chapter 9 said, The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. That doesn't sound like it. Maybe it's the wrong scripture. Let me try Isaiah 45, Isaiah 43, verse 25. My Bible is falling to pieces. Somebody help me. Isaiah 43, verse 25. I want to see your face. Isaiah 43, verse 25. And what does that say? Okay, yes. Isaiah 43, verse 25 says, I, even I am the one who blots out your transgression from my own, for my own sake, and I remember your sins no more. Review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together. State the case of your innocence. Oh, we're going to pray what he said, you will blot out your sins and remember your sins no more. Now, we have already prayed that for ourselves. But we're going to pray that same scriptures for our brothers and sisters. Anyone in your life who have ever hurt you, you're going to mention their names if you know their names. Because I'm on live on Periscope and Facebook. I mean, I mention people's names for security purposes or for confidentiality. But I can mention it in my heart and God can, God can hear, the, hear my, my standing in the gap. So I want you to raise your voice. John, the prayer of forgiveness is John 9, 31, Matthew 6, 14. Isaiah 43, 25. I can email it to you later on. Or, or at the end, I can give it back to you. But I want us to go and pray now. And I want us to pray. Ask the Lord right now. Raise your voice and pray. And ask the Lord, in the name of Jesus, to forgive everyone who have ever hurt you in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord to please forgive Everyone who have ever hurt you, he said he will blot out the transgression and he remembers no more. He also that he also said that we should stay in the gap and pray ye one for another. So I want you to open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord to forgive anyone. Mention their names. There are people who can offend us. They may not even mean to offend us, but because sometimes we are so sensitive. So ask the Lord to please forgive anyone who have hurt you. Is it your mother or your father or your brother or your sister, your husband, your wife, your pastor, your pastor wife? Who is it? Your former teacher or your former prayer partner? Who is it that you have offended and who is it that have offended you that you hold it out in your heart? Who are you holding in ransom with unforgiveness? Ask the Lord to please forgive them right now. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs> Open your mouth and pray, beloved. Ask the Lord to forgive Anyone who have hurt you, will first, those who just come in, you will have to check the replay. We we'll first pray for forgiveness of our own sins. Now we we'll stand in the gap for those who have offended us. Who uh, for those? Yeah, for those who have offended and hurt us, we are asking God to forgive them because Jesus did the same thing on the cross. When Jesus was on the cross, what did he do? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. He didn't say, Father, uh, uh, crucify them. Father, uh, curse them. He said, forgive them. So anybody who has ever hurt you, no matter that wound, whether the wound is fresh wound or it's 20 years old wound, ask the Lord to please search your heart and bring to the surface any form of anger and bitterness, any form of unforgiveness, anyone that you are holding in ransom with unforgiveness, anyone who have hurt you or offended you in any way, no matter how long it's been. Ask the Lord to forgive them right now. And you know their names, mention their names, beloved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring my heart to you. I say, Lord, search my heart. If I'm walking in any kind of unforgiveness and resentment and bitterness with God towards anyone, I repent and I say, God, forgive me. If there's anyone in my person or my past that have offended me, that have hurt me, that have wronged me, oh God, and I'm still holding on to it, I release them. I ask forgiveness. I say, Lord, also forgive them. I forgive them and I ask you to forgive them. I ask you to blot it out of their books. That you will remember it no more. That it will never count against them as if they never offended me. For Jesus did the same thing on the cross. 
is there father forgive them for they know now what they are doing so father anyone who have hurt me with their words with their thoughts with their desires because sometimes it's not just the words that you speak that can hurt people you know that you can you can think if you think ungodly and unrighteous thoughts in your heart towards somebody it's also an offense that person may not hear your thoughts but god hear your thoughts heaven records your thoughts heaven records your desire so you got to be very careful the thoughts you have in your head and the desire you harbor in your heart towards people they may not hear it they may not sense it but it is recorded heaven knows it so repent ask the law to forgive you ask the lord to forgive anyone who have hurt you there, there are people in your life they could be family members in-laws brothers and sister uh christian brothers and sister pastor pastor wife they may have stuff in their heart towards you you don't even know they may they may smile in your face but they don't like you unless god allow you to see their heart so ask the lord to forgive anyone who is harboring anything in their heart towards you ask the lord to forgive them right now open your mouth and pray i want you to open your mouth and pray that anyone who is harboring anything in their heart towards you? Ask the Lord to forgive them. Ask the Lord to forgive them. Ask the Lord to blot it out. Ask the Lord to forgive anyone who have hurt you. And any, anyone who have hurt you with their words, with their thoughts, with the desires in their heart. What have they? Because people are thinking stuff. You don't know that. Ask the Lord to forgive them. Father, I come to you today in the name of Jesus. That anyone who is thinking anything about me that God is not thinking. Whoever has harbored or is harboring or have any thought or desire in the heart concerning me that my father doesn't have concerning me. I ask you to forgive them, oh God, in Jesus' name. I ask you to shower them with your outrageous love, to give them peace, to give them mercy, to grant them grace, and to blot it out from their life, and even blot it out from their memories in the name of Jesus. I say anyone in my life, in my present or in my past, that is harboring anything about me, if they have any thought in their mind about me, or they have any desires in their heart about me, that my Father God doesn't have, may you forgive them, Father God. May you blot it out from their memories and blot it out from their books. May, they, may you forgive them and may they not count against them in Jesus' name. Whoever is thinking anything about me that my Father is not thinking. Because one of the things the Lord told me, any thoughts you have in your heart about anybody, welcome back. Any kind of thoughts or desires that you have. And you pray in the Holy Ghost. Those my warriors in training. I have to pray in understanding every now and then. Because people are popping in. But I want you guys to pray in the spirit. Because the Lord told me. That any kind of thoughts and desires. That you have in your heart towards anyone. He said if, if he doesn't have it. You have no right to have it. Hello. If, if there are thoughts you have in your mind and desires in your heart towards people, it doesn't matter how much they have offended you. The law said if he doesn't have that thought about that person, you have no right to entertain that either. Do you understand? So ask the Lord to bear your heart. Ask the Lord to reveal your own heart to you. That any thoughts and desires that you have about anyone or anyone who have thoughts and desires about you that God doesn't have. Let the Lord forgive you. Let the Lord forgive those people also. Let the Lord plead, plead the blood of Jesus over the sin. And ask the Lord to please blot it out, out of the book. You, As you're praying right now, beloved. They, there's no magic wand. There's no magic wand you can touch. What you're praying right now is what we're praying for. You ask the Lord to blot it out. That's what we're praying. You have to open your mouth and speak. Ask the Lord to blot those thoughts out. If the enemy bring any thoughts in your mind about anybody that God doesn't have, what do you have to do? It's very simple. You think the complete opposite. If you bring in your thoughts in your mind about somebody that is ungodly, that is lustful, that is hateful, what do you do? You do the complete opposite. It's simple as that. He giving you thoughts to make you hate somebody. Open your mouth and say, Father, bless sister so and so. Bless brother so and so. Deliver so and so person. Forgive them. As you do it constantly after what the devil will stop. The purpose of Satan plotting the purpose of the devil releasing evil and negative thoughts in your heart and your mind towards others is to make you sin against god and sin against that person so god does not hear your prayers so whenever you bring thoughts in your mind about people that you know is ungodly what do you do you cancel the negative thought with something good you bring in hateful thought father bless brother so and so bless this person wherever they, they are right now father i release your outrageous and your radical love Cover them with your love. Surround them with your peace. Let your mercy and your grace begin to speak for them. Bless that person this evening. Forgive them of all their sins and their wickedness. That's how you bless them. 
That's how you cancel the negative thoughts with the positive thoughts. So open your mouth and pray now. And you pray in understanding and you pray in the Holy Ghost. You remember we were supposed to pray in the Holy Ghost? Three hours. We started at 7 o'clock. So those who came in late, you have to catch the replay and start again. Next time we have to start exactly 7 p.m. I started at 7 p.m. So don't miss it. These 40 days, I want you not to miss one minute. If you come late, you have to check the replay and listen to the first 30 minutes that you missed. Yes. So open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender my own heart to you. Okay, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender my own heart to you. And I say, Lord, search my heart and search my soul. If I have entertained any kind of thoughts or emotion or desires about anyone that God does not have, I repent and I ask for forgiveness. And Jesus, I plead your blood over my heart and over my thoughts and over my desires. That may I not ever entertain such behavior, entertain any thoughts or desires anymore about anyone. And also, Father, I stay in the gap that anybody the enemy has plotted evil and wicked thoughts and carnal desires in their mind and in their heart towards me, I ask you to forgive them too. I plead your blood over the sins of everyone who have offended me. Anyone who have hurt me by their thoughts, by their words, by their deeds, by their action, by their behavior, I ask you to forgive them. And I plead your blood. I say, Father, have mercy. Forgive all my persecutors because Jesus said the same thing on the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. So, Father, I ask you to also forgive all my adversaries, all of those who have hurt me by their words, they have hurt me by their deeds, they have hurt me by their thoughts, they have hurt me by the desires in their heart. I ask you to please forgive them, oh God, and have mercy. Forgive them and blot it out of their books and remember it no more. In the name of Jesus, forgive all those who have hurt me in Jesus' name. Oh, them with your radical and your outrageous love and your mercy and your grace upon everyone who have hurt me, anyone who have offended me by their words, by their thoughts, in the name of Jesus. I want you to raise your voice and pray, beloved. We're not doing too much talking. I don't want to talk, so please, I'm begging you, try to refer from the text you will distract me and you'll distract yourself you cannot be praying in the holy ghost and typing a welcome but i want you to open your mouth and you pray we are asking god to forgive everyone who have heard us in jesus name open your mouth and pray beloved ask the lord to please forgive you and forgive anyone who have offended you don't hold anybody in ransom you want god to hear your cry so father anybody i'm holding, holding in ransom i repent anyone who have hurt me by their words oh god i stand in the gap and i ask you to please forgive them for they know not what they are doing and i plead your blood over their sins in the name of jesus i say lord have mercy upon all those who have hurt me whether they hurt me yesterday, today, or 20 years ago, it matters not how long. What matters is if they have hurt me, if they have offended me, if they have insulted me, if they have reproached me anyway. I stay in the gap and I, and I repeat what Jesus repeated on the cross. I say, God, have mercy, Father. Forgive them for they know now what they are doing. And I plead your blood over their sins and their transgression, oh God. Please forgive all my brothers and my sisters. All who have hurt me, forgive them. Have mercy upon them and set them free in Jesus' name and bless them. I release them, oh God, and I ask you to also release them. Count it not against them, oh God. Blot it from their books in the name of Jesus. They may rem that you may remember it no more and may it not count against them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus.